Following the Reformation, the way in which churches were maintained changed considerably. We were now encouraged to give money to almshouses, to schools, to water supplies, rather than to repair the parish church. Frequently, this led to a deterioration in the fabric of the church, and a new way of financing its repair had to become established. This was partly achieved by the patron taking responsibility for the chancel and the ratepayers of the parish responsibility for the nave. Each year, the church warden would gather together the receipts he'd spent on the church, took them to his rate-paying neighbours and collected a proportion from each. But because they were his friends, he was almost duty-bound to keep those repairs at the minimum possible. This meant that any repairs that were carried out were often shoddily done or done with the cheapest possible materials. Another problem arose when the neighbours, who were ratepayers, didn't attend this church, but instead went to the Baptists or the Quakers, both of whom had very strong connections here in West Sussex. Small rural churches like Tuxlith had particular problems. As the population increased, their small buildings weren't sufficient in size, especially as they were clogged up with privately owned pews. Here they built a north transept on with a gallery, and a second gallery was built at the west end with a staircase accessible from the outside. But it was still a patched up building. In the 1870s, the decision was taken to abandon this church completely and to replace it with a brand new, more conventional church next door, which would be absolutely perfect. One of the benefits of a new church was that pew rents would be abolished, every seat would be free. And for this reason, the Incorporated Church Building Society gave a grant of £100 towards the construction of the new church. This building continued in use as a Sunday school for several generations, but eventually fell into disrepair. And by the mid-20th century, it was a ruin, before its rescue by an enthusiastic group of local friends and the friends of friendless churches. Mm -hmm. 